Okay, so when it comes to calibration, calibrating an interface level transmitter can be just a little bit tricky. So in this video, we're gonna clear up the main questions that I hear about these interface level measurements. By the end of this video, you're gonna have a clear understanding of how to set these levels up. So first off, let's define what an interface level is. Let's say you're working on a large vessel and that contains two processed liquids. So for example, it may contain water and oil. These two liquids can't mix, so the lighter process rises to the top. The level at which these two meet is called the interface level. Now, just like every level transmitter, there are only two numbers that it needs in order to measure this level correctly. Those two numbers are the lower range value and the upper range value, the LRV and the URV. However, in order for the interface level transmitter to work correctly, we gotta make sure we follow a few rules to be able to set this up. Rule number one, since this type of level transmitter uses differential pressure to calculate its interface level, the level must always be above the low side or the top tab. Rule number two, when the level is only filled with a lower specific gravity process fluid, the differential pressure will equal the LRV and the transmitter will send a four milliamp output. Rule number three, when the level is only filled with the higher specific gravity process fluid, the DP or the differential pressure will equal the URV and the transmitter will output a 20 milliamp output. Rule number four, the low side sensor must always see a reference level pressure. Awesome, so now that we got the rules that we need to follow out of the way, let's figure out the calibration values, also known as the LRV and the URV. On this vessel, we have two liquids containing the specific gravities of 1.0 and 1.2, just to keep it simple. The first step in calculating our calibration values is to measure from tap to tap with the tape measure. So let's say, to keep it simple, you measure 100 inches from tap to tap. Let's first look for the LRV. That will give us a four milliamp output from the transmitter. The formula is taking 100 inches multiplied by the lower specific gravity of 1.0, which is 100. Now let's subtract that number of 100 from the value of 100 inches multiplied by the specific gravity of the seal fluid inside the capillary, which could be 0.95. That would be 95 inches. So 100 minus 95 is five. So the LRV or the lower range value will be five inches of water. To find the URV, we do the exact same thing, but using the higher specific gravity of 1.2. Multiply 100 by 1.2, which is 120. Now let's multiply 100 inches by 0.95 specific gravity of the seal fluid, which is 95. Now let's subtract the two. 120 minus 95 is 25 inches, the new URV or the upper range value. So the numbers will now be five inches of water, the LRV, and 25 inches of water, the URV. Congratulations, now you have your calibration values to put in your transmitter for an interface level measurement using remote seal level transmitter. If you're setting up a straightforward level that's not an interface level, check out this video and I'll see you in the next video.